Welcome to It's Not Letting Me. This video will explain what is Google Docs. It's not letting me. Quit saying that. In its basic definition, Google Docs is a word processor that lives in the cloud or lives on the internet. One document exists and it's live to everyone who has access to it. You never have to save your documents or back them up because Google saves them all in your Google Drive. Instead of emailing a Word document back and forth to your collaborators and possibly losing track of who made what changes, you can attach people's email to a Google Doc and edit it live simultaneously anywhere in the world with internet access. Users are added to documents rather than a document being shared with users. Google Docs has spell check just like any word processor. It underlines misspelled words in red and all you have to do is right click it to correct the spelling. There's great tools inside of Google Docs for collaboration. You have three options when sharing Google Docs. Users can view, they can edit, or they can comment. If you only want users to be able to read your documents, but not necessarily edit the document, just give them can view access. Here they can just see a document, but they can't modify it at all. If you want users to completely collaborate with the document and with all of the users, you can add people as editors to the document. They can change anything in the document, but don't worry because every change is recorded in the revision history. So if somebody makes some changes that everyone's not happy with, you can always revert back to a previous version that's timestamped inside of Google Docs. So if you ever need to, you can go back and rest assured you always have an archive. Perhaps you're worried that somebody might rewrite what somebody's already written, but you still want their feedback on the document. Then you'd give that person can comment access. With can comment, what you do is you go in and you can highlight certain sections of text, use the comment button, and then add some text on the side. That will put a little bubble on the side. Users can then go in and reply to those comments. They can accept the comments or they can decline the comments. Comments can be replied to, accepted, or rejected. If you're used to using tracked changes in Microsoft Word, you can use comment access as a ways to track changes with collaborators. A couple other great things you can do in Google Docs is you can draw. You can click on the link down below and watch a video about how to draw in Google Docs. In that video, we show you exactly how you can draw a character from South Park. You can also embed a Google Doc in a website and it creates a dynamic document. That means that even as the Google Doc is updated, the website will always be updated to show what the Google Doc has. So even if you don't have a whole lot of expertise in designing websites, all you really have to do is author the word processing document in Google Docs and you can be authoring a page that's live on the internet. You can embed a chart in Google Docs from Google Sheets. And so anytime the data in your chart is updated in the sheet, it will automatically be updated in the chart in the Google Doc. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe down below. Leave us a comment and let us know what else you'd like to see a video that you'd like to learn about. And we'll see you next time here on It's Not Letting Me. It's Not Letting Me! Quit saying that.